The first symptoms, fever often with headache and chills may appear one to four weeks after the bite of an infected mosquito. These symptoms may be mild, but if not treated quickly, parasites transmitted by this mosquito can cause a severe form of malaria that often leads to death. Plasmodium parasites causing malaria are spread to people through the bites of infected Anopheles mosquitoes, which bite mainly at night in hot and humid areas where they can breed easily. In many places, malaria transmission occurs mostly during and just after the rainy seasons. Over three billion people, half of the world's population, are at risk of malaria. Most cases and deaths occur in sub-Saharan Africa, especially amongst children who are weaker and more vulnerable than adults. Asia, the Middle East, Latin America, and to a lesser extent, some parts of Europe are affected. Early diagnosis and treatment prevents deaths and helps reduce malaria transmission. Before any treatment, all cases of suspected malaria have to be confirmed using parasite-based diagnostic testing, either through microscopy or a rapid diagnostic test. The best available treatment is artemisinin-based combination therapy, known as ACT. It's important to use ACTs instead of artemisinin alone because this medicine, taken in combination with other long-acting drugs, helps to avoid parasite resistance. You can help prevent the spread of malaria, whether for yourself, your family or your community. WHO, the World Health Organization, recommends several efficient measures. Long-lasting insecticide-treated bed nets should be used in all at-risk areas. Mosquito-proof screening on windows also reduces the risk of being bitten. It's really crucial to protect the most vulnerable persons, children under five and pregnant women. Indoor spraying of homes with insecticides also helps to reduce malaria transmission. This method is effective for three to six months, depending on the insecticide used and the type of surface sprayed. Antimalarial medicines can be used to prevent malaria. They're recommended for travelers coming from non-affected areas and going to areas at risk. Pregnant women living in high transmission areas should take the anti-malarial sulfadoxine pyrimethamine at each scheduled antenatal visit. WHO also recommends preventative therapies for infants and children under five. Research is underway to stay ahead of the resistance the parasite develops to drug therapy and the mosquitoes build against insecticides. Researchers are developing a malaria vaccine and are also working on genetically modified mosquitoes that will not transmit the parasite. Malaria is a life-threatening disease, but it is preventable and curable. Nobody should die of malaria.